What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex, and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Quick note before I begin, in case you didn't already know, or maybe you're new here, or maybe you just stumbled upon me, I'm an up-and-coming YouTuber who has an absolute love for the Super Nintendo and N64 consoles. And because of that, I decided I wanted to start doing some game reviews for these systems and share my love. Tell you about some good games, and tell you about some not-so-good games. So far, I've already reviewed 15 Nintendo 64 games, so if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you go check them out. After this video, of course. Now then, on to the review. Today, I'll be talking about a just absolute gem for the Nintendo 64. It's Legend of the Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. I would argue that this game is even possibly top 12 on the entire console. How come? Well, first off, it was developed and published by Konami. So with a name like that, you know it's good. Mystical Ninja had a North American release of April 16th, 1998. But, unfortunately, was only the second Goemon game to ever appear in America. The first one was just called Legend of the Mystical Ninja for the Super NES. That game was followed by three Super Famicom games that stayed in Japan, and later had two Game Boy games that also stayed in Japan. Quick note, I'll try to keep this review as spoiler free as I possibly can, because the story in this game is just charming. It's a lot of fun, I really like it. If you ever get the chance, play it, see it for yourself. But the game has you start off with a strange group showing up and trying to take over feudal Japan. It's your job as Goemon and his three companions to stop them. Right away, you'll notice with a sense of humor in this game, it has an almost awful, just horrible, cheesy, B-rated horror movie sense. But I assure you, dear viewer, it's hilarious. This game has me laughing out loud time and time again. The Mystical Ninja series, at its core, has always been an action-adventure platformer. And in this game, the gameplay is solid throughout. The villagers help breathe new, fresh life into this game, make it feel living. The dialogue, especially in the boss battles, is just cheesy and hilarious. And I'm, as I just mentioned previously, often has me laughing out loud. And then on top of that, in regards to the bosses and other characters in the game, they're just a colorful cast. Mystical Ninja even has a surprisingly open world for a Nintendo 64 title. Later on, you find power-ups in this game that make you want to keep on playing and keep you interested. But the best part of this game, and I mean by far the best part, is the music. I mean, seriously, it's just fantastic. I have absolutely no complaints about the music in this game. I'd say it's probably easily top 15 for the entire console. The only complaints that I do have about Mystical Ninja starring Goemon, well, one, the camera can be really frustrating and really tricky at times. Not lining up or you're trying to make a jump and then suddenly the camera decides to move. I can't count the number of times that I've taken damage or die just because the camera was at the wrong angle. And the second part is that the controls when you first start this game can be pretty challenging to get a hold of. It takes a little bit to sometimes get the angles when you're using weapons or when you get a new power up. So if you play this game, beware of that. Now, overall, what do I think of this game? Well, simply put, it's an absolute must own for anyone with a Nintendo 64. And if you have a way to play this game through an emulator, because I know that last I checked, it was $61 according to price charting, I would highly recommend it. As I said previously, the story in this game is just... It's just awesome. One cool note about this game is that it actually did receive a sequel on the Nintendo 64, titled Goemon's Grand Adventure. And that game's price, as well as this one, are both steadily climbing, with Goemon's Great Adventure, according to price charting last I checked, at $75. So, as always, if you enjoyed the video, 
please leave me a like and a share. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy, tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review. And again, if there's a game you want to see me talk about, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.